Good morning. I'm first going to apologize to guys. We know it's not the class of 20, 32, 28, whatever's happening up here, but we have air conditioning, so I think you'd rather be cool than our numbers be perfect. So bear with us with the balloons over there. We know they're a little backwards. It is an absolute pleasure to serve Governor Thomas Johnson High School as your principal. I'm Tracy Kidler, and it is absolutely a pleasure to present these amazing young people this morning. We have so many things to honor and so many things to celebrate. And this is truly the first step to the big step that happens on Monday. And I'm getting chills just even thinking about it. So we welcome you to our award ceremony for the class of 2023. At this time, I ask that everybody in the auditorium please rise and join us for the national anthem as the Patriot Choir, directed by Dr. Kathleen Taylor, will lead us today.
While we are waiting for the risers to be taken down and uh, relocated, can I please have Brody Gurry, Ben Perch, and Peyton Buckley join me on stage? Before we officially begin honoring our students this morning for all of their achievements and accolades, as the principal of Governor Thomas Johnson High School, one of the things that I have always had value and belief in is the strength of community and the strength of parent support. 
Parents and community members are truly the backbone of our success and our belief system in the young people in front of us. We cannot do the things that we do without their help, without their support, without their confidence, and without their belief in our staff and our administration to try and serve these young people to the best of their, our ability every day. Governor Thomas Johnson High School is a community that is spread very vast over Frederick County and Frederick City. Our district is one of the most unique, crossing over other district lines, and at times can make things challenging for us as our students and our families find themselves often in redistricting conversations just as we're in right now. I'm charging this community as we started this last year for an all-in mindset. But it's not just educators, it's not just students, and it's not just parents. It's all of us together trying to make a difference. And through our challenges and adversity, we need to come stronger together instead of in division and prosperity. Today, we wanted to start something new. We wanted to start a new tradition at Governor Thomas Johnson High School where we honor some parents who we feel who've gone above and beyond anything that could have been asked of them to support not just their child, but the school in which their child attends. Our first honoree for the All-In Patriot Partner Award this morning is Ms. Danny Geary. said she's here. Our second honoree can will also come down and join us. I'm hoping they're all here. Is Miss Dawn Buckley. Our third honoree today is Miss Yvette Birch. share a little bit of information about each one of them, starting with Danny Gary. Danny Gary has served on the PTSA committee and has been a great partner with me and the members of our staff for the last three years, helping us with enormous initiatives and drives. During the pandemic, she was here with us, handing things out to our students, helping us create uh, connected pathways for our children when they were stuck at home. She's done multiple things from working with community partners to help us raise money for various projects and scholarships and opportunities for our students to be awarded. And the amount of hours that she's done behind the scenes to put in to help support our graduates, not just of this class, but of the prior, uh, her son who graduated two years ago, um, the hours are probably immeasurable. Nanny has been a true partner to the Governor Thomas Johnson High School community and truly exemplifies the word all in. At this time, I'm going to ask her daughter Brody to please award her with the All In Patriot Partner Award. Our next recipient is Dawn Buckley. to a Governor Thomas Johnson High School event. Dawn spends countless hours organizing spirit gear for all of our students, not just our students in athletics and extracurricular activities. She puts in hours of service working with our PATS program and our students with disabilities and helps serve all of our teachers, both in that program and around the building. She's a member of our athletic boosters. She also is, works with our PTSA. She does anything that is asked of her. She's also served countless hours helping us with Patriot Pantry and other facets of the organization that help serve her students. She is a common face to our faculty. She is a common face to our students. Her heart is bigger than this room, and she would give it to anyone who needed it. Peyton, at this time, can you please present your mom with the All-In Patriot Award? Yvette Perch 
I don't even know that we can put into words or hours. She has not just been a team mom for one sport, she has been a team mom for three sports consecutively for four years. Serving our football program, our basketball program, and our baseball program. There is nothing that goes unbottled with that for me, helping our young men in all of those programs, make sure that they're fed, make sure that they have what they need, a spare uniform shirt if they forget it, even if it's her own son and maybe shoes. She does everything necessary to make sure that those young men are equipped. Her service with our sports boosters has been beyond um, appreciated. She was the most recent member of that group that helped us complete and finalize the turf project and has done a lot of things behind the scenes to make sure that Governor Thomas Johnson High School gets what it deserves. Ben, would you please present your mom with the All In Patriot Award. Thank you. senior with an award. A faculty representative from each department will present each honoree with a certificate and a medal to wear at graduation. Students, when your name is called, please come to the stage from your left to receive your award. You will exit the stage on the other side. Our first representative presenter today will be representing the English department. It is my pleasure to welcome Ms. Stessick. instructors as producing extraordinary academic discourse, having a scholarly work ethic, and demonstrating sophisticated analytical abilities. This student consistently remains dedicated to continuing her academic growth and performing above and beyond all expectations. As a result, her work in her English courses has culminated in the completion of substantial scholarly works that demonstrate her passionate voice eloquent writing abilities, and commitment to scholarly discourse. And not only is she a remarkable student, she is an accomplished orator and a community service leader who works to improve our community through a variety of projects, including raising awareness about opioid abuse. Congratulations to this year's winner, Dia Zha. Good morning. I'm Dr. Flanagan. I represent the science department. 
surpassed most of her peers and made her instructors pause and think. Those conversations were most welcome. Sonia has expressed interest in pursuing a career in medicine, which combines her passion for helping others with the love of science. She has spent time at Frederick Health Hospital as a wing volunteer, using her cheerful personality to engage with patients. Sonia was also the proud and worthy recipient of a Werner H. Kirsten internship at the National Cancer Institute, where she used the CRISPR-Cas9 technology to delete the sarin gene into a software fruit farm. She's planning to further education at Penn State University, where she will be part of the pre-med BSMD program. As a science department, we couldn't be more proud of Sonia and wish her the very best in her future endeavors. She will make amazing contributions to society. taken nine social studies courses and excelled in AP classes. He will be going to Pitt University uh, next uh, next year and they are lucky to have him and we are very honored to have been a part of his journey in the social studies department. So please give him a round of applause. For him. Our second recipient is Megan Rowland, and Megan has also taken nine social studies courses and has excelled on her AP exams as well. Meg also served as vice president of Rho Kappa. She kept us organized and efficient all year. She is a talented artist as well, and Meg also worked over 30 hours roughly per week and still maintained academic excellence. We are so proud of her, and it has been an honor to be her teacher. Please give Meg a round of applause. Julia Page, and I am here representing the English Learning Department at TJ. Abraham Ramirez Lopez, please come forward. Congratulations, Abraham, you did it. Everyone is so proud of you, but no one is surprised that you have accomplished so much in just four years. You began school at TJ in 2019 and worked hard as you learned basic English. You were an eager student and all of your teachers were impressed with your excellent effort and positive attitude. Then in 2020, the pandemic took us all by surprise and changed school as we knew it. You persevered through this difficult time and actively participated in online learning. You asked questions and regularly communicated with teachers. 
you are still the same dedicated student who takes pride in learning, who never complains. You accept every challenge that comes your way with determination and a smile. Abraham, it has been a privilege and a pleasure to teach you. You have everything you need to be successful, and you will continue to achieve great things. You have a bright future with many opportunities. Congratulations on your continued success and many the speech pathologists here at TJ. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the special education department. If I could have Leah McDermott come up and join me. Um, this year's Nelson Rockefeller Award goes to a student who excels in every aspect of life. Since ninth grade, Liam has excelled in every class he's ever attended, earning A's and B's throughout his entire high school career. Socially, Liam exhibits a positive character, he's respectful, kind, and is an overall fun person to be around. Finally, this student is well known by both TJ staff and his peers for his love of Sonic. So this year's recipient for the Nelson Rockefeller Award goes to Liam McDermott. My name is Lindsay Chapman. I am the Health and PE Department Chair. Then I have Matthew Grulick and Abigail Jennings. Please come forward. <laughs> the Physical Education Award honors two students who have demonstrated a great amount of dedication in PE courses throughout their high school careers. The first recipient has made a big impact in many ways ever since he sang on my speaker microphone the Titanic song, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion, while standing on a chair and still in a mask. Matthew Grulick is being honored for his tremendous level of effort and dedication to several courses within our department, including team sports, strength training, and sports medicine. Matthew is a standout in team sports where his maturity and leadership always had a positive impact on others around him. Matthew led by example, never complained, and embraced the daily grind, regardless of the task in hand. Matthew plans to attend, attend Towson University next fall, majoring in psychology. <laughs> Abigail Jennings is recognized for her efforts in several PE courses, including team sports, sports medicine, and unified physical education. Abigail was particularly valuable in our unified physical education program, where she was a paramount to providing a phenomenal PE experience to her students with special needs. Oftentimes, she was regarded as an additional teacher in the gym with these classes. She also finished in the top five of her class in our rigorous sports medicine course. Abigail plans to attend Towson University in the fall, majoring in special education. The PE department cannot wait to call you to and all of the amazing things you did. Congratulations, seniors. Good morning. I'm Dr. Taylor. I would like to call to the stage Amanda Ambrose. Diogo Vanegas Contreras, Paolo Bonariva, Rebecca Floyd, Sylvia Gonzalez, Matthew Greilich, Brenna Voltaire, and Mary Winrin. Please come to the left side. The 
Fine Arts Department honors students from each area within the department, 2D art, 3D art, digital art, vocal music, instrumental music, dance, and theater. This year, the vocal award goes to a student who has expressed interest in singing and furthering his vocals, vocal abilities. His endeavors this year led him to the role of the Beast in our spring musical, Beauty and the Beast. Although he was not officially enrolled in choir, he came to the class on opposite days of his FCC class to further his understanding of singing. This year, the recipient of the Senior Vocal Award is Paolo Bonnery. honors the top senior leader of a high school chorus. A leader is someone who sees the vision of the director and tries to implement that vision into their own and helps other students accomplish those tasks. In the past few years, Diogo has been a member of the concert choir, and this year he is in the Academy for the Fine Arts and Local Music. This year he participated in the County Solo Festival. This year the recipient of the National School Choral Award is Diogo Banegas Contre. This year's Art Award goes to a student who has truly been an inspiration both personally and artistically while exploring art. This student seizes every opportunity to constantly evolve their art making. They are never afraid to explore new media and are always open to sharing with others what they learned during their process. It has been an amazing journey over the past four years to see how, through determination and perseverance, this student faces their successes and challenges with maturity and optimism. It is our honor to present the 2D Art Award to Brenna Motet. Excellence in 3D art, including both ceramics and sculpture, goes to a student that has completed all four levels of the ceramics program. In addition to helping out many hours each week, tutoring students, and maintaining the ceramics studio, this student has had their work displayed at the Double Play Artist Center and at a local shop in downtown Frederick. Not only an artist, but an athlete, this student maintains an impressive GPA. They are an active member of the National Arts Honor Society, as well as other clubs that participate in the community. This award is proudly presented to Matthew Crew. Completed photography one, two, and three, as well as challenging herself to complete an AP portfolio in a single spring semester. In addition, she has an excellent, um, has excelled in upper level drawing and painting and art courses. Her artwork highlights the everyday beauty in nature and the world around her, and she takes great pride in, in the production of her work. In addition to her exemplary skill, she is an invaluable member of the digital art program and mentor to other students. She is always willing to lend a hand and help other students master concepts. She has most recently worked as a student service learning teaching assistant in photography one class where she was able to enhance the experience for all students in the class. So for these reasons, I would like to present the digital art award to you. Dance 
Dance Department, including the TJ Dance Classes and the National Honor Society for Dance Arts. Additionally, Sylvia was president of the Latin Dance Club and was instrumental in the club's growth and exciting performances over the last year. We know you're going to do great things, and we hope that you never lose your love for dance. Please help congratulate the Dance Department Award winner, Sylvia Gonzalez. This year's Theater Department Award goes to Amanda Ambrose. Amanda has gone above and beyond in all aspects of theater. From taking advanced theater coursework, to serving as a mentor to younger students, to assuming the role of one of the stage managers for the TJ Stage Program, Amanda truly pushes herself as a student and a leader. Amanda always looks out for her peers, whether in a show or in the classroom. Additionally, Amanda strives to find the balance between her advanced academic courses and her passion for theater, and in doing so, has truly become a well-rounded student. She is looked up to by underclassmen and is someone that serves many leadership roles within the theater department. She is one of the most genuine, humble, sincere students and techies, and truly deserves both this honor and recognition. Please help congratulate the Theater Department Award winner, Amanda Ambrose. present the Instrumental Music Award. The Instrumental Music Award goes to a student who demonstrates outstanding leadership, musical skill, character, involvement in multiple musical ensembles and clubs, and a clear drive to make TJ ensembles successful. It is my honor to present this award to not just a fantastic musician, who has been a member of the TJ Orchestra, the Pitt Orchestra, the Symphonic Orchestra, Triam, and multiple other groups, but is also an amazing human being will be nothing but an asset to any institution or career field, especially if she continues to bake cupcakes better than most professionals. <laughs> this year's Instrumental Music Award goes to Mary Wendell. Hello, my name is Bea Spanier, and I represent the World Language Department. I'm Mary Montserrat, Flying Rowe, who will be helping you read the names. The recipient of this year's World Language Award goes to a student that embodies the diversity of TJ. You can find him on the stage, in the halls, and with his friends. He not only earned the seal of my literacy during his junior year, but he also earned a four on the AP Spanish test, doubly qualifying him for the seal of my literacy. On top of all of this, he had a personal recommendation from one of um, last year's retired teachers. The entire World Language Department is so proud of him for his hard work, creativity, and mindset. The recipient of this year's World Language Award is Anderson Inishiroza. <laughs> de reconocer a los estudiantes de TJ que han ganado el merecido premio 
en el Seal of Right Literacy, en el sello de alfabetización bilingüe. 39 estados y el Distrito de Colombia ofrecen hoy día el Seal of Right Literacy, en el sello de alfabetización bilingüe. El reconocimiento a los estudiantes que han estudiado y alcanzado el dominio de dos o más idiomas para graduarse de la escuela secundaria. En el sello de alfabetización bilingüe aparece en el diploma de graduado y es una declaración de logro de competencia para futuros empleadores y para administradores a misiones a la universidad. Además, se les premia con una medalla para llevar a su graduación. A los siguientes estudiantes de TJ se les ha otorgado el sello de alfabetización bilingüe. Cuando llame su nombre, por favor, levántense para que podamos reconocerlos. Por favor, no aplaudan hasta el final. Ashraya Balmarigan, Paula Bonariva, Karen Cressman, Ana Escobar, Yadira Espinoza, Kayla Estrada Posadas, Mara Fuentes, um, Alessandra Moto, Ashton Perez, Brenda Ramirez, Carla Sandoval, Natalie Segovia, Ashton Tablada Guifaro, Lucas Tesorolo, Jenny Umana Salerno, and Emily Martinez. Daniela Alvarado, Alexandro Ángulo Moreno, Camila Ayala Rodríguez, Eliazar Adames, Heidi Gómez Chávez, Silvia González, Jasmine Hernández, Anderson Inestrosa, Jenny Maradiaga Chicas, Jenny Humana Salmerón, David Martínez, Ángela Melara Alonso, Ryan Romero, Génesis Romero, Lulu Sánchez, Michelle Humana y Rosa Villegas. Ashwarya Balamarugan, Anderson Bonilla Vasquez, Peyton Buckley, Joseph Daly, Logan Eubank, Anna Boyer, Meredith Fitz Ends, Ayan Kaplowitz, Annabella Marriott, David Martinez, Alessandro Moda, Enrique Nieto, Paul Orgemi, Anish Patel, Kaden Runyon, Lulu Sanchez, Lucas Casarolo, and Maddie Wilson Brown. The Career and Technology Education Department honors students from each area within the department. Those areas are business, computer science, wood design and applications, child development, career development, and service learning. We will also recognize students who are honored by the state for apprenticeships. Our first award is business. As a business student, Lulu Sanchez has offered to help tutor fellow students both in business and pre-calculus. Her quiet manner and calm demeanor allows her fellow students to succeed after she provides instruction. Lulu Sanchez is an excellent student and role model for all the Thomas Johnson high school. She enjoys the, the diversity and the blending of cultures in the classroom. Lulu is a dedicated member of the National Business Honor Society and will wear the honors board at graduation as well as the CTE board. <laughs> Next up is computer science. Enrique Nieto plans to study computer science at college after completing all four of the computer science classes available here at TJ. Enrique has done a great job thinking outside the box and figuring out how to come up with creative programming solutions in his various courses. He has also studied various computer science topics and languages on his own 
to help build his knowledge. And we can get Next up is wood design and applications. Anderson Vanilla Vasquez was a great student with a great personality. He was a leader during his time in the WDA program. He was very determined and worked hard on every project. But if he finished early, he would help other students. Anderson was very approachable and everyone enjoyed working with him. Anderson took pride in his work, which is why a lot of his projects are still on display. Mr. Reese and myself will miss working with Anderson, but we know he's going to do great things. Anderson, we are very proud. Thank you for all that you've done. Good morning. My name is Lisa Bigart, and I'm the work student coordinator here at TJ. The first step we have is child development and the award goes to Maddie Wilson-Brown. Maddie is such a hardworking student who is self in her internship. She is dedicated and motivated to help the students achieve the skills needed in the gym. The kids adore her, and the staff wishes they had more instruction and instructors with her character. Maddie plans to further her education at Johnson & Wales University in Providence, Rhode Island to major in hospitality and event planning. It goes to Logan Eubank. He is an outstanding employee who has learned and grown so much this year. He is extremely responsible, absorbs all the information he can learn in his role at the warehouse at ProList. Before ProList, he was a valued employee for the FCPS warehouse, where he took the initiative to be proactive and demonstrate his ability to problem solve and be a valued team player. Logan plans on furthering his education at York University. Next up is the Exemplary Service Award. Throughout their four years of high school, these students have each logged more than 75 hours of independent service activities beyond the minimum graduation requirement. For this impressive commitment, each receives the Exemplary Service Award. When your name is called, please come forward. Ashwarya Alamaruga, Peyton Buckley, Could Bashiri 
Phillips and Julian Zayla Sanchez, please come to the stage. These are students who have completed the Apprenticeship Maryland program, where they log over 450 hours in an industry which gives them both work experience and knowledge to pursue a career path after graduation. To earn the Apprenticeship Completion Certificate, students must successfully complete the necessary requirements and regulation under Maryland law. Today, Bashiri Phillips and Julian Zalea Sanchez received these certificates and medals to wear at graduation. We congratulate them on all of their accomplishments. Next up, we have the Frederick County Public Schools Career and Technology Awards. The Career and Technology Education Department at Frederick County Public Schools honors two outstanding seniors who have been awarded the spotlights for their excellence in the CTE department. Today, David Martinez and Paul Orgemi receives a certificate and a medal from FCPS for their excellent achievement. Finally, we have the NJROTC award. Unfortunately, Chief Rodriguez regrets that he cannot be here and that this he cannot be here this morning. So I am presenting the NJROTC award. With a unit of 110 cadets, the instructors are assisted by a student in administration, operations, training, supply, public affairs, and community relations. Leading that team and shaping our monthly plans and future growth is the staff leader, the cadet commanding officer. The Patriot NJ ROTC cadet commanding officer is Annabella Marigot. She is the recipient of the American Legion's Military Excellence Award. Annabella demonstrated outstanding military bearing and excellence while volunteering countless hours over her four years in our program. From community service events to competitive teams in the classroom, she was always visible and involved in making our unit better and leading from the front. Annabella Hamilton. Thank My name is Anna Romanich, Media Manager for the Class of 2023. It is my pleasure to introduce our faculty speaker. Each year, the graduating class recognizes a faculty member as the Golden Patriot. Individuals selected for this award consistently demonstrate an outstanding commitment to these character traits. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. I am Devon Johnny. Vice President of the National Honor Society. This year, we have the honor of introducing last year's Golden Patriot, who was chosen by the class of 2022. However, for the first time in the 24 years since the award was first given, two staff members tied for the award, which was voted on by both students and staff. The first 2022 Golden Patriot is described as caring and compassionate, a true role model for students and staff with a positive approach and fabulous work ethic. The second Golden Patriot is described as an all-around champion who does a great job of making everyone feel understood. Everyone, please give a warm welcome to Ms. Gary Beth Chavez and Mr. William Gross, Golden Patriot. <laughs>
staff, families, and class of 2023. It truly is an honor and privilege for Mr. Gross and I to have a few minutes to chat with and recognize you. So Patriots, this is all about you. The word Patriots, P-A-T-R-I-O-T-S, is defined in the dictionary as one who loves and supports his or her country. We came up with our own variation of that definition, one that embodies more of who we are, you are, about to become within and out of Patriot Nation. P. Our PM Patriots means pursuing possibilities. Every day that the sun comes up, there are new possibilities presented. You are in charge of how you pursue those possibilities. Think about everything you've made possible. The one thing you all have made possible is graduating from high school. You've done it. So keep pursuing the sky's the limit. Hey, appreciate the little things in life as much as the big things. The hugs you get from your loved ones, the thanks for being there text from friends, and more often than not, the feeling we all get when people show up for you. These are the small tasks that we often overlook, but we all want. So when you receive them, show your gratitude. T. The first T of Patriots stands for turning trials into triumphs. We all know and recognize that the road to graduation was not easy. Some of you took a heavy course load this year, taking several AP and dual enrollment courses to give you a jump start into college. Some of you may have completed a year-long, all-day cosmetology program at CTC while taking four other classes online through Frederick County Public Schools just so you could graduate in four years. Some of you may have lost a family member or maybe over had overcome a physical or mental health issue or made the difficult decision to come to this country to make a better life for yourself and your family. If that's not an example of turning trials with triumphs, I don't know what is. R, responsible, respectful, ready. You've heard these three words a lot. I'll leave you with one statement that sums up the importance of these three words. You only get one first impression. So as you move on to your next endeavor, Make sure your first impression is a reflection of those three words. I is for intellect. Never waste it. Every single one of you is gifted in something, and one of your evidence gifts is putting your intellect to make graduation happen. Your brain is meant to be exercised. Never stop learning. As you sit here today, look around. Some of you are the first in your family to graduate from high school. Any first-time high school graduates, please stand up and be recognized. First-time from high school graduates, please stand and be recognized. Oh, obstacles are opportunities. There are so many cliche statements that fall right in line with the statement. But the truth is, you have lived through 100% of your hardest days. You are proof that you can overcome adversity. Your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Keep going. Keep going when everything tells you to give up. Tough situations build strong people in the end. The second T is take time to make time. Show love to one another and be kind. You are created for each other. Take time to say thank you, share a compliment, practice random acts of kindness. Be intentional, it's infectious. A small gesture or kind word can make the world of difference. You literally could make someone's day. So because we are technically still in school, we have one last homework assignment for you, and that is take time and make time today. And finally, S. Stand tall and be proud of not only what you've accomplished here at TJ, but in all areas of life. And at this time, every graduate could stand tall for me. Congratulating class of 2023. On behalf of myself and Mrs. Chavez, we congratulate you on all of your accomplishments and cannot wait to see the amazing things you do with your lives. Thank you.
everyone, my name is Mia Ja, and I'm president of the National Honor Society. It is my honor to begin with recognition of the first Honor Society degree. Our members have obtained the highest standard of achievement, service, leadership, and character during their years of high school. Members will stand and remain standing until all names have been announced. For our group and for groups that follow, we will hear applause until everyone has their name announced. Daniel Adams, Ty Allen, Amanda Ambrose, Aishwarya Balamori, Jackson Bittner, Paulo Bonavir, Sabrina Browning. Kyle Umgardner, Jonas Kernis, Jacob Chapman, Luke Chapel, Gabriel Concepcion, and Ethan Zarnett. Excellence in academics. Please stand as your name is called and please hold your applause until the end. Camila Ayla Rodriguez, Wally Frank, Lauren Herbst, Megan Teasley, Bruno Molter, Johnny Orcher. that represented the National Business Honor Society, which recognizes the scholarship, character, and leadership of students who have achieved a 3.5 minimum GPA in at least three business courses. Members will stand for recognition when their names are called. Please hold your applause until the last name has been called. Daniel Adams, Alexandro Angulo Moreno, Sean Chan, Ethan Zarnecki, Leilani Destreza, Spence Hart, Anderson Inestrosa, Naman Johnny, Anish Patel, Nurse Alexander Perez Ventura, Dante Rav, Anna Ron, Lulu Sanchez, and Candace Wells.
I am Jacqueline Ortiz from the National Honor Society for Dance Arts, which recognizes outstanding artistic merit, leadership, and academic achievement in dance students. It fosters an appreciation for dance as a true art form and one worthy of recognition and prestige. Sylvia Gonzalez joins me in standing for recognition. from the National English Honor Society. Our members merit special note for past and current accomplishments in the field of English. Our goal is to nurture the love of study of literature in our school and community. Members will stand as their names are called. Please hold applause until everyone is recognized. Amanda Ambrose, Camilla Ayala Rodriguez, Ashoria Val Morgan, Alan Bonariba, Colin Dowling, Mag Madeline Dazu, Vivian Greinke, Megan Rowland, Sean Schaefer, Mary Winram, and Fiona Wilfong. Moy Alpha Theta, which is also known as the National Mathematics Honor Society, tries to inspire keen interest in mathematics, develop strong scholarship, and promote the enjoyment of math and high school and beyond. Please stand as your name is called, and please hold all applause until everyone is recognized. Ty Allen, Aishwarya Bala Morgan, Bernadette Bowie, Kyle Bumgarner, Jacob Chapman, Andrew Cruz, Leilani Destreza, Colin Dowling, Ava Triggers, Anna Ferrer, Samantha Goetz, Gabrielle Hansen, Jasmine Hernandez, Anna Hertz, Aon Hopowitz, Kennedy Lango, Jennifer Lombardo, Emily Martinez, Aiden Moon, Dylan Mawusu, Anish Patel, Grace Ford, Lulu Sanchez, and Steven Zhu. My name is Tyler Gray. I am the president of TRIAM, which is also called the National Music Honor Society. TRIAM recognizes excellence in music students who are interested in pursuing a career in music or music education. Please stand as your name is called and please hold applause until everyone is recognized. Jonas Kranis, Kaya Firetag, Annika Gunther, Myla Kill, Blakely Massey, Ed and Hug, Kyle Popper, Mary Wood and Deacon Withers. of the National Science Honor Society, which encourages and recognizes scientific and intellectual thought, advances students' knowledge of classical and modern science, and communicates with the scientific community. Please stand as your name is called. Amanda Ambrose, Elliot Anderson, Lauren Chung, Anna Foyer, Meredith Fitzsens, Alexis Getz, Sylvia Gonzalez, Anderson Inestroza, myself, Jennifer Lombardo, Grace Fork, Megan Rowland, Madison Warren, and Sonia Young Polivar. I'm Alessandro Rota, president of ROCAPA, the National Social Studies Honor Society. Rokapa recognizes students who have enrolled in five total social studies courses while earning a GPA of 3.5 or higher in social studies courses, along with the completion of 10 hours of community service. Please stand as your name is called. Pablo Bonoriva, Andrew Cruz, Kenley Curtis, Ava Driggers, Taya Firetech, Matthew Brulick, 
James Higginbotham, Namaz Jami, Jackson Labunga, Anish Patel, Grace Roark, Megan Rowland, Kaden Runyon, Sean Schaefer, Lucas Tessarola, Reagan Tucker, and Andrew Wiggins. Victoria Bala Morgan, representing the National Technical Honor Society. NTHS celebrates the academic accomplishments of today's career and technical education students who are in recognition for superior achievement and leadership in career and technical fields. Please stand as your name is called. Lauren Chung, Danielle Elad, Elliot Griffiths, Chelsea Kong, Anna Martinez, Dylan Owusu, Kyle Poppert, Vivian Renke, Carla Sandoval Hernandez, Cameron Tenuta, Sean A. Sly, and Ellie Stevens. Savando Valentin Perez to the stage. He has completed the Environmental Landscape Design Program at CTC and plans to attend FCC next year and then transfer to UMD to study business. Savando is very honored to be sharing a message with all of you today. Good morning. To the class of 2023, we made it. Those who know me, my name is Rolando Valentin, and it's such an honor to be here with you. Today we're together to celebrate accomplishment where we will be recognized for hard work for just years. Four years ago, when we were freshmen, we never thought that a graduation would be so important. But now we know because our family is so proud of the progress we have made to our teachers. For a moment, it was hard because of the pandemic, but thanks to that, we became close to each other and we made some good memories. Memories that we can share someday. Now, I want to share some advice and a little bit of myself. Six years ago, there was a world class in Mexico and never thought we would be here today. And I'm here with all of you. And I know some of you were in the same position as me. I know how hard it was it to be better parents for a better life and for a better future and to keep us away from danger. At first, it was really hard because I was away from the family I took care of. Me. Living with a stranger in New York, I'm so grateful to them. But being in that position was really hard because we have to start again a new life, a new language, and a new school with different people, different cultures. On my first day of school, I was really scared, but also I was impressed with all of us trying to help me. Here's where I want to tell you that not all of us have the same opportunity as many of you, because we are immigrants, we are not here because we want to, but very very well the family. And some of your parents are here for the same reason. We experience so much discrimination because of others who make us look like a bad influence. But we are people, we are all humans, and we also need help to keep on making right. That's why you should never regret the things in life you have, because some of us work really hard for the things we want clothes, food, rent transportation and location. You don't know what the person who is sitting next to you needs. You, you don't know the problem they have. That's why you should never treat people wrong. Treat people with kindness. You should always stay humble because your action from today will be the result of tomorrow. 
I want to take this time to say thank you to all my teachers and classmates. I especially want to thank the EL teacher because the work is really hard. They give the new students who don't speak English any opportunity to learn. They give them hope and confidence. And thanks to them, I'm here today. Gracias a mi familia de México que me ayudaron, fueron parte de un crecimiento. A mis padres les agradezco todo lo que me han dado, la vida, cada palabra, cada enseñanza. Sé que no ha sido fácil últimamente, pero a pesar de todo siempre nos mantendremos unidos. Siempre encuentran una manera de seguir adelante sin importar no, no, sí. Now is your turn. For one last time, it's time to click the next page and start writing our next chapter of life. To be honest, I kind of had to think that we're going to live now. But when we walk into the stage, we will realize that it's all over and there will be no time. Now. now is the time to find our own way, the time to make decisions for ourselves. It might not be easy, but I know you guys are right. Thank you for your time and congratulations to the class of 2023. As you can see, the class of 2023 is a high achieving group of young people. Our community recognizes the wealth of talent, ability, achievement attained by the class of 2023. Many of the awards presented today are awarded by school and community groups who annually seek nominations and applications for graduating seniors and their high schools. Many of our students receive scholarships directly from colleges that they will attend next year, as well as from community, business, and civic organizations. Not all of the groups are presented today. At this point in the program, presenters will introduce themselves as they present awards and scholarships. Ms. Rachel Trussell will lead us in the presentation of community scholarships. Good morning. I'm Rachel Trussell and this is Patricia Sterling. We are co sponsors of your TJ Student Government Association. We would like to start by calling up Dylan Lucio and Lucas Tesoro. made the decision to present our senior leadership uh, award scholarships to two graduating seniors who embody the essence of student leadership. Bill and Elizabeth have held numerous leadership positions throughout their high school careers and have faithfully demonstrated that leadership isn't about attention but about service. Whether they are covered in paint, planning events, leading a committee, or amplifying our student voices at various levels across the state, Lucas and Dylan approached their positions with a type of joy and dedication that inspired younger students to be our next class of leaders. Congratulations to them. Governor Thomas Johnson Financial PTSA, and on behalf of them, we would like to award a scholarship to DSA. advisors of the National Honor Society. Um, and every year we have a scholarship that we give away for the NHS Senior Scholar as voted on by the staff. Um, we send out the top five GPAs for um, all students in the NHS and of the staff vote. Um, and after the staff vote, 
the winner of the NHS Senior, Senior Scholarship is Ashwarya Alvarugu. Assistant Principal at the Current Technology Center, and along with the staff and our principal, principal Mr. Michael Kinsakon, who is a proud parent today upstairs somewhere. We'd like to recognize all of our seniors who have earned completer medals from Career Technology Center. Most students have also earned industry certifications, and many have also earned dual enrollment credits while at Technology Center. I would ask all students to please stand in place and if we can hold our applause until we announce and then we can recognize all of our students. Sharon Rose Kendale, Kirsten Anglin, Nishan Anthony, Shlara Al Morgan, Naya Barnes, Adon Briggs. Douglas Brown, Ella Hall, Ethan Carr, Lauren Chung, Joseph Daly, Renal Halad, Brian Alvarez, Anna Foyer, Travis Frank, Tristan Brown, Elliot Griffiths, Brody Gurry, Emily Enriquez, Dominic Jarrell, Maya Canal, Chelsea Kong, Erica Lopez Ramirez, Julia Madrid, Nina Martinez, Angela Alonzo, Caitlin Murtal, Ketia Lugata, Kelly Ortiz, Dylan Owasu, Ben Perch, Kyle Popper, Ibrahim Ramirez Lopez, Aisha Ramirez Niz, Duncan Robertson, Carla Sandoval Hernandez, Karen Zanuto, Zane Sly, Alex Stevens, Ashton Rivaro, Beckett Taylor, Servando Valentine, Alan Vu, Mia Wills, Christian Zapata, and Julian Zelaya Sanchez. Francisco Casanova. Um, I'm an admission liaison officer for your United States Air Force Academy, which is located in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Could I get uh, a Tavis Drummond and Chase Porter to the same, please? <laughs> so the Air Force Academy produces everything for the Air Force and guardians for the Space Force. Every year, there are roughly 10,000, 12,000 applicants for roughly 1,000 positions for each class of the academy. An appointment to the Air Force Academy represents a four-year full rights scholarship worth over 400,000 dollars. The Air Force Academy offers top-notch education in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It gives you courses in power and non-power flight, opportunity to do free fall parachuting, survival training, competitive athletics, and for one semester, uh, while you're at the academy, you may have an opportunity to actually go uh, and study at another academy, such as West Point or uh, Naval Academy, or a Foreign Service Academy uh, in France, as well as an opportunity to go to a civil institution for some time. The Air Force Academy offers 32 majors and, and 14 minors. After four years, it has become commissioned secretary officers in the Air Force and the Space Force, 
enable them to leave the one of every three or four disciplines and serve for at least five years in the order that you to do so. Graduates of the Air Force Academy have now become road scholars, titans of industry, politicians, generals, heroes, and in some cases, astronauts. Octavius Trubman intends to major in aerospace engineering and intends to be a pilot. Chase is looking to major in uh, engineering and is still exploring what three career options she wants to actually get in life too. Please join me on behalf of the President of the United States and congratulate them to their appointments to the Air Force of Chemist class of 2027. scholarships from the Community Foundation. These scholarships have been made possible by the generous donors who believe in the value of education and who want to help students from Frederick County achieve their educational goals. Students, these donors and the scholarship committee who made the scholarship selections have put a great amount of faith in you and believe that you will go far and achieve great things for yourself and your community. We look forward to your success. Now, I am happy to recognize the following students receiving scholarships for the 2024 academic year. Please stand as I call your name uh, until the next name is called. Please hold the applause until the end. Fiona Benjamin, the Martha Murphy Burks Nursing Scholarship Fund. Sabrina Browning, the Wayne C. Neely and Margaret S. Neely Frederick Scholarship Fund, as well as the Robert J. Hogan Memorial Scholarship Fund. Gabriel Concepcion, the Merle L. and Ruth Rebecca Guyton Scholarship Fund. Finley Curtis, the Harold D. and Elizabeth S. Keene Scholarship Fund. Colin Dowden, the Luster and Jean Oxley Scholarship Fund and the Thurmond High School Alumni Scholarship. Ava Driggers, the Wayne C. Neely and Margaret S. Neely Frederick Scholarship Fund. Molly Frank, the Mary D. E. M. and Ruth E. Smith Scholarship Fund. Anika Gonzo, the Gail Case Lizard Vocal Music Scholarship and the Elaine A. Hyder Scholarship Fund for Arts. Anderson Inestroza, the M. Rebecca Linton Scholarship Fund. Dia Jack, the Michael David Hendricks Memorial Scholarship Fund. 
The robbery plot of Frederick will be inherited his long and Ellen be gone scholarship and the workforce scholarship for overcoming barriers. Maya Porsche, the Kenneth W. Parker Class of 55 Scholarship Fund. Maya Hill, the Dale Case Lizak Vocal Music Scholarship Fund. Jennifer Lombardo, the Robert C. and Jane E. Ladner Scholarship Fund. Jackson Lubanga, the Cecil K. Walter and Char Charlotte S. Walter Memorial Scholarship Fund. Brenda Voltaire, the Frederick Art Club. Emily Ramirez, the Mary Ann Moshell Memorial Scholarship Fund. Vivian <coughs> Renke, the Wayne C. Neely and Margaret S. Neely Frederick Scholarship Fund and the Rollins J. and Mary Marceline Atkinson Scholarship Fund. Carla Sandoval Hernandez. The Frederick Elks Lodge 684 Youth Endowment Fund. The Carl S. Manwiller Memorial Scholarship Fund. The Kenneth W. Parker Class of 55 Scholarship Fund, and the Wayne C. Neely and Margaret S. Neely Frederick Scholarship Fund. Cameron Senuta, the Robert and Winifred Mount Scholarship Fund, and the Dr. George and Carolyn Smith Fund. Deacon Withers, the Sandra Christ Scholarship Fund, and Julian Celaya Sanchez, the James R. Pan Memorial Scholarship Fund. Congratulations and thank you. Please welcome to the stage Annabella Marriott and Dylan Owusu. <laughs> On behalf of the Commonwealth Marine Corps, we are here to present the Scholastic Excellence Award for Academic Achievement. This award recognizes students who went the extra mile with their students, both in and out of the classroom. To be eligible for this award, a student must be a distinguished scholar, a model citizen, and a role model for younger students. The nominee must have also shown determination and dedication throughout the school year towards achieving academic excellence. It is with great pleasure that I present Annabella Marriott and Dylan Wusu with the Marine Corps Classic Excellence Award for 2022. Congratulations. Please welcome to the stage, Grace Marshall and Noah Ryder. <laughs> On behalf of the Commonwealth Marine Corps, we are here to present the Distinguished Athlete. For more than 200 years, Marines have been recognized as a force in readiness. Being ready means you have to be in top physical condition. Consequently, fitness is a hallmark of the Marines. Additionally, the recipient of this award not only represents a student that is a superior athlete, but also one that has been recognized as an exemplary young citizen and a role model for younger students. They also must have exhibited the personal traits of courage, poise, self-confidence, and leadership while performing as a varsity athlete some of the same traits we look for in every Marine. It is with great pleasure that I present Grace Marshall and Noah Riley with the Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award for 2022.
Please welcome to the stage, Jenny Maradiaga Chicas and Spence Hart. On behalf of the Commodore of the Marine Corps, we are here to present the Semper Fidelis Award for musical excellence. The Marine Band has been a long-standing history of musical excellence. It has been playing at the White House since 1801 and is referred to as the President's Own. John Philip Sousa, a director of the band in 1881, wrote the march Semper Fidelis, which is Latin for Always Faithful. The march was dedicated to those who inspired it, the men and women of the United States Marine Corps. It is a prestigious musical history that we present this award. This student must have held the first year in the band, who have been capable of performing as a soloist, and recognized as both an outstanding musician and young citizen. It is with great pleasure that we present Jenny Maria Lara Chicas and Spence Hart with the Marine Corps of Award for 2022. Good morning. My name is Michael Brady. I'm with the Tiger uh, Chief of Change in um, I've got a question. Are you getting tired? You see, it's just getting up together today. Anyhow, our scholarship um, it's, it was created in honor of the memory of exemplary uh, steeple chasers. Mr. Larry Key, Mr. Rick Donna, and John Goodman. These guys are dedicated to their family, to their community, to the sport of running. The difficult part of selecting an awardee is the, the process of selection. We often get uh, applications that really don't tell us a lot about the, uh, the person applying. But sometimes we glean more through the letters of recommendation. So people who write letters, you don't come. They're meaningful. In this case, our awardee wrote, and I'll paraphrase, it's not what happens to you in life, but how you handle it. That line resonated with us because in life, as in sport, you don't always stand on top of the podium. Congratulations. Good morning. My name is um, Corey Philip Glover, or Bush Glover, and my brother Smith. We're representatives of Cap Alpha Psi uh, Fraternity Incorporated. And we'd like to recognize our scholars of African American descent and ask that the names that are involved be posted to your left and this bunch of applause for your finish. Alexis Adams, Mame Adanti, Nishan Anthony, Eva Coles, Gabriel Concepcion, Sarah Nusosa, Octavius Drummond, uh, Madeline Desu, Spence Hart, Zanai Haskins, Carly Hatcher, Aja John Aisha Johnson, Maya Gorsett, Chelsea Cohn, Marion Kumar, Kennedy Lango, Jackson Lubinga, Emmanuel Mensa, Vishnu Mensa. Aaron Heyman Tabe, Sylvester Olofayo, Paul Oregina, Dylan Owusu, Zane Sly, Madison Warren, and Gianna Quetzal. This is the 24th year that 
Frederick and Marilyn, alumni chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi has recognized the senior scholars. The senior scholars are graduating seniors of African descent who have a cumulative average of 3.5 or higher while taking at least one AP, IP, dual enrollment, weighted CTC, or honor classes each semester. Each scholar receives a kente call in their school colors with symbols that tell a story. The diamond represents wealth and riches. The key symbolizes that education is the key and not key to knowledge and success. The school stands for leadership and unity. I am Brother Glover, on behalf of the members of Frederick, Maryland Alumni Chapter of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, wish you and all continued achievement in all your future endeavors. job as coordinator of athletics at Governor Thomas Johnson High School. It's my privilege and honor to award your student athletes and awards today. The Thomas Johnson High School Athletic Department recognizes our senior student athletes that maintain a 3.5 GPA or higher during their respective sports seasons. They have already received their pins and are wearing them on their gowns. At this time, I would ask all senior scholar athletes to stand to be recognized. Dijon High School has partnered with Under Armour and DSN Sports to implement the Women of Will program. Women of Will is a program that promotes and recognizes the accomplishments of our female student athletes. This award recognizes female student athletes and encompasses the will to win, excellent athletic performance, superior academics, positive sportsmanship, strong leadership, and impactful community service. I'd ask that Warren Madison please join me on stage. Or Madison Warren, sorry. Madison is the definition of a woman of will. Madison is an asset to our tennis team and leads by example. She was undefeated in her junior season, winning the 3A single state championship. A humble competitor, not, she not only excels in tennis, she excels in the classroom and the community. She is a dual enrollment student who will finish high school with an associate's degree from FCC in biology. She also is a volunteer at Frederick Memorial Hospital. She will attend Stonehill College in the fall, major in biology, on the pre-med track, and also play Division I tennis. <laughs> Today, after our ceremony, she will start the defense of her state championship in tennis. Congratulations, Madison. The National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association offers scholarships to senior student athletes that exemplify the characteristics of strong academic achievement, participation in interscholastic athletics, 
leadership, and sportsmanship. Each state selects a student athlete that embodies these attributes. The 2023 recipient of the Maryland State Award is Dia Ja. She receives a plaque from the NIAAA and a $500 scholarship. Congratulations. Will the following student athletes please join me on stage? Kaylin Arias Sosa, Taylor Beaver, Peyton Buckley, Dia Job, James Nickenbotham, Jennifer Lombardo, Ben Kirch, Jorge Rodriguez, Joe Schrader, and Tom Kyle. TJ High School Athletics Department acknowledges our student athletes that led her in all three seasons or in three seasons in their senior year. The Athletic Department recognizes the commitment and sacrifice that our student athletes make in order to participate in interscholastic sports. These students will receive a triathlete pen that can be worn on their graduation, on their graduation gown. Please join me in congratulating these student athletes. Congratulations, class of 2023. Ben Perch, don't go anywhere. I'd like to have Ben Perch and Stan Park come to the center of the stage. This year it will come as no surprise that Ben Birch has been selected as the most spirited patriot. Yeah. The Brookfield family also recognizes the efforts of a student whose actions support and promote the mission of Governor Thomas Johnson High School. This year, the Unsung Patriot Award is presented to Ms. Ben Birch. Chris Von Hollen Award presents the 2023 Public Service Award to Ashwarya Hallamarina. The Van Hollen Public Service Award is designed to commend a high school senior who has demonstrated outstanding commitment to community or public service. Students who embody this commitment are dedicated to making a positive change that will benefit their community, state, or nation. Ashwarya has demonstrated these values by her outstanding service to the Frederick community in numerous ways. At Frederick Health Hospital, at the Frederick County Public Library, through Girl Scouts Literacy Book Program, at the Maryland Tamil Academy at the Tamil Sandrum, and at Matra School of Indian Dance. Senator Van Hollen is proud to honor Ashwarya for her hard work and dedication and looks forward to seeing the great things the future has in store for her. Ashwarya for achieving academic recognition through the Banneker Key Scholarship offered by the University of Maryland to a select group of scholars who have demonstrated significant academic leadership and accomplishment in high school. Congratulations, Ashwarya. You are a high level of achievement.
Baldwin, uh, Leilani Mistraza, Carson Nushki, Violet Batia, Madison Warren, and Aon Kapowitz. Please come to the stage and line up in the center, please. <laughs> Graduates of the College program at Redding Community College earned an associate's degree and a high school diploma simultaneously by attending Frederick Community College full time during their junior and senior years. Early college applications are submitted in the spring of the junior of the sophomore year. Sorry, of all the students who apply and meet the competitive program qualifications, only 25 students countywide per year are selected. Students in this uh, select group are graduating from high school as well as earning an associate's degree from Frederick Community College. In fact, this year, our early college students earned their college degrees before they were received their high school diplomas. Today, we honor Leilani Destreza. Carson Nushki, Violet Matia, and Madison Warren with boards and FCC colors for this notable achievement. In addition, Aon Kapowitz earned an associate's degree from FCC on their own accord through the dual enrollment program. We also recognize this achievement with the green and gray court. With Lucas Tessarello, Octavius Rowland, Megan Rowland, and Amon Johnny, please join me on stage. Each year, the Eastman Kodak Company and the University of Rochester ask 2,000 high schools nationwide to nominate one junior from each school who demonstrates outstanding leadership qualities combined with high achievements in academics. The George Eastman Young Leaders Award singles out students who are highly respected by teachers and peers alike. Lucas Tessarello is a member of the class of 2023 who received this honor. The Boucher Law Honorary Science Award is presented to a student who demonstrates outstanding achievement and superior intellectual promise in the disciplines of science and mathematics. Octavius Drummond received this award for the class of 2023. The Frederick Douglass and Susan B. Anthony Humanities and Social Science Award is a highly regarded tradition from the University of Rochester. This award recognizes exceptional ability, achievement, and dedication in the disciplines of the humanities and social sciences. Today we honor Megan Rowland with a certificate for her commitment to these disciplines. The Rensselaer Medal was first presented in 1916 with two purposes, to recognize the superlative academic achievement of young men and women, and to motivate students toward careers in science, engineering, and technology. The certificate from the Rensselaer Institute of Technology is awarded to promising students who have distinguished themselves in mathematics and science. Naman Jani is honored from the class of 2023 with certificate <laughs> two representatives from the senior class to attend the Frederick County Rotary Club meetings with them. These students are to be examples of character, high achievement, discipline and integrity and academic inquiry, but most importantly, self-motivated with an interest in something that's going to give back to the business or service community. I would like to have Kyle Baumgartner and Ellie Stevens please stand to be recognized as they were my students and after the show is very Our love loud 
development organization here at the North Thomas Johnson High School would like to have two students be st stand and recognize. They've received their certificates. Emily Ramirez and Tony Fernandez. Miss <laughs> Libby and the Lumber Christian Fellowship Club present Emily and Tony with excellence of leadership award certificates, which they will receive in their diploma envelopes. These students have demonstrated leadership in their devotion to others of faith through community service and in the facilitation of the Love Loud Club meetings. Thank you to both for your service and leadership. sitting through the 73 pages of this report for <laughs> So we're coming to the end here, but this is a long award. We're going to ask everybody to just hold the applause here because I haven't even counted the name so long. For the AP Scholar and AP Patriot Scholar Program, students who qualify to re receive one of those awards are recognized for challenging themselves with the most rigorous course of study available in Frederick County Public Schools. Their names are designated on the Graduate Honors Recognition Program. AP scholars have taken between three and five advanced placement exams or college courses during their high school careers and submitted an application for this honor. Today, they will receive a silver cord to wear at graduation. Please come forward as your name is called and please hold applause until the end. Sharon Akindale, Amanda Ambrose, Grace Brewster, Eva Coles, Melanie Kalindris, Gabrielle Concepcion, Sarah Tsuta, Danielle Pilat, Kaya Fartag, Meredith Fitzhands, Matthew Brulick, Spen Hart, Gabriella Hasna, Jasmine Fernandez, Megan Keesley, Maya Colonel, Chelsea Kahn, Miriam Kumar, Kennedy Lango, Amy Lee, Jason Lynn, Jackson Devonga, Julia Madrid, Grace Marshall, Emily Martinez, Anna Martinez, Kayla Melman, Francesca Mende, Emmanuel Mensa, Verna Voltaire, Aiden and Karen Kamen Tommy, Jacqueline Ortiz, Angelina Powell, Lucidia Romas, sorry, Ramirez, Hannah Romanich, Aiden Runyon, Lulu Sanchez, Carla Sandoval, Cameron Sokoloff, Megan Taylor, Helen Thiel, Nico Trulini, Jenny Dumana, Selmar, Aiden Winterston, and Mary Florin. Congratulations.
advanced placement exam and or college courses. This year, we are proud to recognize our AP Patriot Scholars and the Gold Award to wear graduation. Please come forward as your name is called and we will call the until the end. Mami Adantan, Ty Allen, Ishan Anthony, Ashwarya Alarugan, Jackson Mittner, Paula Unriga, Chase Trigger, Hannah Brooks, Sabrina Browning, Kyle Bungardner, Jonas Cairns, Agnes Curry, Jacob Chapman, Luke Chapel, Andrew Cruz, Finley Curtis, Leilani Destreza, Colin Downing, Dowling, Ava Driggers, Octavius Drummond, Anna Foyer, Molly Frank, Carla Nushki, Sylvia Gonzalez Mendez, Emily Greaves, Logan Helmstetter, James Higginbotham, Anderson Inestroza, Maman Johnny, Dia Dra, Alejandra Jimenez, Aon Papowitz, Maya Portion, Maya Kittle, Jennifer Lombardo, Jenny Maradiago, Chicas, Jenny Lynn Morieg, Violet Matia, Vishnu Mensa, Dylan Obusu, Anish Patel, Emily Ramirez, Vivian Frankie, Grace Fork, Tori Rowe, Sean Shaver, Jonania Sly, Merrick Summers, Lucas Tessarolo, Vanessa Trivas, Reagan Tucker, Madison Warren, and Sonia Van Pelawar. Fiona Wilcom, Mary Winneram, 
and Sonia Van Palawar. demonstrate commitment to the six pillars of character. Both winners of the Golden Patriot Award will be announced at graduation. The student Golden Patriot will receive a $500 scholarship that is funded by the TJSGA. These students were nominated by their peers and teachers for demonstrating the traits of trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. To honor this accomplishment, we present each nominee with the cord and the Patriot School colors to wear today and at graduation. Each nominee also receives an honor certificate and diploma envelopes. recognizes graduates for their outstanding achievement based on weighted grade point averages of 3.5 and above calculated throughout three years of high school. These Governor Thomas Johnson High School graduates have received specially designated pins to wear today at graduation. Their names are designated in the graduation honors recognition program that you receive today as honors, high honors, and highest honors. At this time, Let's honor all of the graduates who received those pins. Please stand for breath and for recognition. Thank you. As you can tell, that was quite a significant number. The Parent Teacher Student Association, known as PTSA, also awards Governor Thomas Johnson High School students with a weighted GPA, uh, weighted GPA of 3.25 or higher for their senior year alone. These graduates have received special pins as well from the PTSA to wear their lamps to have to present on their gowns. At this time, any graduate who earned a PTSA pin, please stand for recognition. <laughs> Graduates gowns today, you will see a red, white, and blue ribbon that is designated in the with a gold star. That red, white, and blue ribbon represents a senior who represents a tier one scholar for academic intensity of a senior schedule. These are seniors that took more than three or more AP dual enrollment or preparatory college classes during the senior year. This is a program that we initiated at Governor Thomas Johnson High School three years ago to not only challenge our seniors to stay the course and keep the intensity in their schedule, but to better prepare them for college and workforce beyond the senior year. 
Let's say that these individuals tried with their very best to avoid senioritis. If you got one of those red, white, and blue principal award pins, I say thank you for leading the charge. Please stand and be recognized. organizations provide scholarship opportunities for our students. We would like to extend thanks to all of our business, professional, and civic organizations that were present today, and of course our students who also receive much of their scholarship money directly from the colleges and universities and military institutions in which they will attend. At this time, I would ask that all of our students who have received some type of scholarship or award, not today, but from an outside organization, college, or institution, Please stand to be recognized. Well, if your uh, legs aren't asleep yet, and if you're not feeling like you're not uh, ready to take a nap, then the good news is our program is finally coming to an end. <laughs> I just want to say, when you have long award ceremonies, that means you have incredible, incredible students. If this thing was short, that wouldn't speak very highly of the work that they've done. So I say absolutely kudos to the fact that this thing stretched out as long as it did. That is, that is a true example. Spence <laughs> and Aiden, bring us home. Class of 2023 all of us have reached a major milestone in our lives by being here today, ready to graduate. We would especially like to express our gratitude to Ms. Megan Smith and the publications class for creating the beautiful program today. We would also like to thank our media specialist, Ms. Kayla McShee, for creating the senior slideshow and pictures at the Senior Center. Before the program ends today, we have a few items to bring to your attention. One, the graduation ceremony will be held on Monday, May 22nd in the Knott Arena at the PNC Sports Complex on the campus of Mount St. Mary's University. The admission is by ticket only. The doors to the arena will be open for seating at 1 p.m. Seating is on a first come, first served basis. We ask everyone to be aware that parking at Mount St. Mary's University may take more time than you anticipate. Please plan to arrive with plenty of time to find a parking space, walk to the arena, and find seats before 1.50 p.m. When the doors uh, are closed, the graduates um, enter into the arena and the doors are shut on. Any seniors still want to attend safe and say may purchase one at the senior picnic on Friday after graduation practice tomorrow. Please exit the building through the doors on the right side of the auditorium by the tech wing. Thank you for joining us today, and congratulations to all the members of the class of 2022. <laughs>